Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Selenium web driver on Windows. So for that, you need Java and Eclipse. So at first, we will download and install Eclipse, which includes Java now. Then we will uh, download a Selenium web driver and then we will configure both. So let's see. At first, we will uh, install the current Eclipse ID, which includes, which now includes Java also. So we don't need to install Java separately. So let's begin. Let's go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Chrome, type Eclipse. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible eclipse.org. Click on it. On clicking on the top right, click on download. We have reached the downloads page, and here is the current version. You can see Eclipse includes Java, so we don't need to install Java separately. For Windows, directly click here, click here, click on download to start the downloads. So the download started. Here and you can see, let's wait for a few seconds. The .exe file downloaded, double click on it to install, minimize this. Guys, here it is, the Eclipse installer. Here in the versions for Eclipse is visible. Click the following for Java. If you want to run C or C++ programs on Eclipse, click here. For PHP, click here. We want for Java, so I'll directly click here. Here and you can see it automatically took Java. And here is the installation folder for Eclipse as well. You can change it from here, but keep it default. Create start menu entry, create a desktop shortcut, yes, looks fine, click on install. Now the installation will begin. Guys, we have successfully installed Eclipse, click on launch. The desktop shortcut is also visible. Now here you can see it is asking us to select a workspace. So workspace is a place wherein all the Eclipse, all the Eclipse project, project files, files get saved. So keep the default, it will get saved under here. We will see this later. Now let us click on use as the default so that you don't need to select this workspace again and again when you will create a new project in future. Click on launch. So here is our Eclipse, I'll go to file directly, click on new, I'll go to file, click on new, then click on Java project. So let me name the project, let's say Amit project and execution environment, I'll keep the default 18, I'll keep the same and I'll just click on next. Here in the location of the project is visible, okay, I told you the project, the projects will get saved under Eclipse workspace and here it is, here is the same path, the project is here. Click on next. Click on finish now. Our project got created. Close this and our project will be visible, here it is. Now let us create a new Java file by right clicking on src, that is the source directory. New class. This will create a new Java class. Let's say the name is Let's say the name is Studiopedia, package keep as it is or you can just type the package as com.amit public static void main so this is the basic class with the name Studiopedia, click on finish to create it we have Studiopedia.java file now, let us print something quickly using system.out using system.out.println first java program okay amit things let's say okay so here it is we created it semicolon now go to file and click on save to run it you can directly right click on the project click on run as and click on java application so here it is we successfully ran our first java program on eclipse 2022-09 so guys we successfully installed eclipse with java so now go to the web browser 
we are using chrome you can use any browser here in type selenium web driver and press enter click on the following first official website selenium.web now go to downloads after reaching downloads go below you have to reach the selenium clients in web driver language bindings here in select the java one and just uh, click on it to download 4.5.0 now it will download so guys we have downloaded it it's a zip file right click and show in folder now when you right click and extract now here is the extracted file click on it and here are all the jar files and it is also here ok so let us now minimize this go to start type eclipse go to start type eclipse and here it is we just installed click on open this was our project now now under the same project we can right click on the project and go to properties now we will configure selenium web driver go to java build path here and click on libraries click on module path and uh, click on add external jars now go to downloads remember where was our web driver jar files here and go to selenium java now you can see all the jar files are visible now select these jar files press shift and select all click on open now you can apply click on apply and close now on the libraries all of these will be visible you can again go to project you can again go to the project click on properties click on module path and click on add external jars so we added all these but we forgot the lib the lib one select all click on open now we have all the libraries here click on apply and apply on and apply and close now we have all these libraries here for selenium web driver so guys in this video we saw how we can easily set up selenium web driver on eclipse thank you for watching the video